what's transpired over the last couple of years has become part of our DNA. And I think Canadians have made a conscious decision that we're not going to be held captive. We're going to continue to travel the world uh, and, and not be held hostage to a lot of these terrorism acts or, frankly, currency issues and so on and so forth. There's a lot to be seen. There's a lot of stories to tell about the world. So what we are finding is, you know, and it's partly related to age. I think your average 65-year-old is more active like a 50-year-old than they used to be. But at the same time, you know, it's about the exploring and, and seeing things. And they're, they're not going to allow, you know, situations with an economy or, frankly, an upcoming U.S. election or, or other things to damper that kind of traveling. So, you know, and, and um, I think we've been able to build some things in when you have a tour manager who is, um, you know, obviously well versed with the destination, 20, 25 years of experience in, in, within that particular region, be it Europe or South America. There's a competence there for the client. And then we got local guides who can bring the rest of the destination to life. So, you know, and, and these are the guys that are, the tour managers and local guys are the storytellers. So really, you know, if, um, if issues transpire, they're on the ground, able to take very good care of our client. In the midst of what we've been up against in 2016, uh, with issues in Europe and so on and so forth, peace of mind is traveling with a group, knowing that you're with people from all over the world, but you're seeing these sites and, and you're actually safer traveling within a group. 